Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Xenon Quirk 996 YouTube channel. It's been a freaking while since I've uploaded a video, man. I really should upload more often, but eh, don't count on it. So anyways, I've decided to make a top five list. Yeah, surprising, I know. I'm not exactly the type of person to make a countdown video based on my history of uploads on the channel, but I have decided to make the top five sea creatures list. Now, this is just my opinion, like all other countdown lists on YouTube, of course. So uh, don't get your don't get your fins in a twist. So uh, here we go. And starting at number five, we have the Venus Girdle. Now, the Venus Girdle is part of the Ctenophora. Ctenophora. I don't know how to pronounce these weird-ass Greek Latin names or whatever. But they're comb jellyfish, to put it simply. And comb jellyfish are usually, like, radially symmetric, and they glow a lot. But the Venus Girdle shakes things up. It, it has its own unique fashion sense. Instead of doing, you know, the regular deal of, you know, radial symmetry, it has this weird-ass eel shape. That's right, it's shaped more like a fucking eel than an actual, you know, jellyfish. And that makes it very cool. And the fact that it's pretty cool and glowy and has a unique shape puts it at number five on this list. And residing at number four on our list is the giant isopod. Now, you guys have heard of wood lice, right? You know, the little roly polies, whatever, that just gather around in the backyard and eat detritus or something. I don't know. Now, imagine that, but bigger and underwater, and they can swim. And you've got yourself the giant isopod right here. And because isopods are already cool, well, this, this guy is obviously number four because it's underwater, huge, can swim. It has all the other cool shit that their land-dwelling cousins don't have. So uh, yeah, that's number four on our list. Next up on number three is the- <laughs> <laughs> Oh god! Oh god, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> number three- <laughs> Number three- <laughs> Number three- <laughs> oh my god. Number three on our list <laughs> is the bony- <laughs> <laughs> Number three on our list is the bony eared ass fish. Now, this guy has the best name on this list of any creature by far. The bony eared ass fish is a very awesome name. I wouldn't mind being one sometime in the future, maybe in a reincarnation or something like in that anime. But, anyways, besides its awesome name, it's it's pretty soft, pretty flabby. Though, admittedly, that could be said for literally every deep-sea fish. But it also has the smallest brain-to-body weight ratio of all vertebrates. Now, I didn't say all fish. All vertebrates. That means it beats out, like, the dumbest whatever. The dumbest cat, dog, sheep. I don't, I don't know. I don't know any vertebrate names other than that but the bony eared ass fish has the smallest brain out of every vertebrate which is pretty cool in my opinion so this cocktail of unfortunate attributes puts it on number three in this list now number two on our list slithering in the deep is the magna pinna squid well the magna pinna day actually i think is what it is what the family is called there are a whole bunch of them actually well apparently according to science. Now, these guys are squids, which already makes them relatively freaky. I know Splatoon tried to do them justice, but they failed. They failed in making them any less creepy. The colossal squid is still creepy as fuck, but the Magna Pinna squids take creepiness to a whole new level because they are long as fuck. Their tentacles just dangle from their arms at like a 90 degree angle, and it still creeps me out to this day. They're like freaky as hell. Like... I think one of them just crawled out of, like, the ocean somehow, managed to find its way to my house, into my bed while I was sleeping at, like, 3 a.m., then put a gun to my head and said, hey, 
you're going to put me at number two on my list or else I will suffocate you to death. And so I agreed. And that's why it's number two on my list. Now, on to number one. Number one best sea creature on my list is the coelacanth. Now, I fucking love coelacanths. I can't get enough of them. They're they're honestly the coolest thing to ever, like, exist, in my opinion, out of, like, the whole menagerie of sea creatures. And I have many reasons for that. The top most one of them is that it's a living fossil. It was thought to be extinct since the dinosaur times until 1938 when some, I think it was a woman scientist, actually, they, they have a genus named after them. So anyways, this, this woman scientist found found the specimen in 1938 off the coast of South Africa and, well, shit made it legendary. Yeah, this discovery was legendary. It, it pinned itself on top of the most famous living fossils of all time, I guess. And another species was actually discovered in the 90s in Indonesia when some guy just discovered it in, like, a market, a food market or something in Indonesia and was like, hey, wait a minute, what is that thing? And the rest is history. Now, the second reason why I like it so much, you know, coelacanths, is because they are lobe-finned fish. Now, most conventional fish are part of the ray-finned fish family, which comprises literally almost every fish in existence. But the lobe-finned fish are, like, way less numerous. And they include the coelacanths, as well as the lungfish, which requires air to breathe. And there are several species of lungfish out there. But the lungfin fish are actually more closely related to tetrapods. Well, which includes us, you know, humans, amphibians, lizards, birds, pretty much any, like, land-dwelling vertebrate than, like, all the other fish. So, yeah, that's cool. And that was the end of the top five sea creatures list. I thank you for watching, and I have been your host, XenonQuark996, and have a nice day.